Alright, what is up guys, Jingle Shocker back to bring you a slightly awkward commentary, not awkward, but you know, weird, that I don't do very often, and, um, I mean, if you like it, tell me to do more of these, tell me to get more, uh, into what I'm trying to do, but, anyways, today what I want to show you is how to make a video using the Roxio Game Capture. Uh, now if you don't know what this is, this is a game capture card made by Roxio, which, uh, you can, uh, stream component cables from your... Uh, Xbox to your TV to the Roxio game capture and a USB cord to the computer and it's gonna um, let you make commentaries and shit and without uh, with having great quality and stuff so what you want to do first off is get into this Roxio game capture after you install it and everything but that's a different video the installation and stuff so tell me if you wanna like see uh, videos like that but so what you're gonna do is you're gonna see two buttons capture and add and share what you wanna go on first is capture because you know you gotta capture the video before you can add it and share it so when capture comes up here's what's gonna pop up just let it load a little bit uh... i don't know guys i made like two of these already and they've been like failed but anyways so when this comes up you're gonna come up to this screen where right there Oh, look, he's inviting me to. Well, right there, it's going to show up uh, your Xbox. Uh, whatever is on the TV, Xbox and or PS3. So, yeah, so that's what um, it's going to show up as. But uh, here's the best settings. If you're using the Roxy Game Capture and you want to know, uh, pretty much just, if you want to make a live commentary, just go to Audio Input and uh, go to this and just click on your microphone device. Now, I'm not going to get too into this, but here are the best settings for this part. Let's look at those for a second. Uh, you want to put it to DIVX, and that's pretty much it for right here. But anyways, so what you want to do is start the capture. And now what this is going to do is it, it's just going to record whatever's on your TV. So look, starting the capture, wait for this. Alright, now it's recording. So everything I'm doing right now, the Roxy Game Capture is recording it, um, and I, I think that's pretty cool. But see, so yeah, it's recording all of this. I'm not gonna make it too long because I don't want it to have to render or export for too long. So I'm just gonna stop the capture right there. All right, and it automatically saves on its own, which is also pretty cool. So you can either just min x out of this or minimize it. I just prefer to x out. And now you get to edit and share. And um, when you get to this edit and share, uh, I'll show you what to do right now. Uh, you want to go when you get to this little window right here. You want to go to create a new project, and you always want to have it in widescreen. You never want to have it in normal. So then you're gonna press OK. When you get to this, you want to go to add photo slash video and wait for this to load up and then it's going to automatically save as whatever the date was so it's the 18th because it just passed up 12 o'clock so here you go you just want to click on this video um, and here it's going to be so r right where you're at right now it's pretty much just the customization you can add music look uh, just click on add background audio and then I guess just uh, click on any song that you want to add in it and you can like adjust where it goes and stuff you see uh... not really for this because the video isn't that long but um... so here and then you can add a text effect uh... let's just do a short and simple one alright just play it out so it gets to the screen alright now pause highlight out everything back hey hey what's up Alright, and just play that out like that. And then uh, I guess we can add a video effect too if you want. Let's see, what should we add? I'm going with. I'm just gonna go with. Where'd black and white go? Black and white. I'm just gonna go with black and white. Just add it to production. And then just play it out. And pretty much that's that's just what it's got. Gonna do it's good to just gonna edit it. And then you can click back on the video, uh, edit the colors. I usually like to do brightness up one or two, contrast always up four, and saturation always up ten. And this is gonna get you like the best colors and just popping out of your eyes and shit. But so after that, uh, after you've done all that and edited your video how you like it, you can also use the auto color setting, uh, which 
I don't really like it. Doesn't really uh, do much, but dim it up. So you never want to like when you're uh, trying to export this. When you go to YouTube, you never want to click the YouTube button because what it's gonna do is it it's gonna um, export it in the worst quality like ever. So you want to go to export as, just save it, and when you pop up to this screen, just save the production, and then it's gonna pop you up to this little screen right here or window and what you want to do is you want to go to both right here and then when you get to this you want to scroll down all the way go to windows windows media video 9 either uh, 1280 720 VBR or uh, 1920 1080 VBR and what this is the 720 is just 720p the 1080 is just 1080p but I like to do 720p because it's pretty much uh in my opinion the same thing but this uploads a lot faster and I don't really think people care as long as it's at least 720 so you want to normalize the audio always because this Windows, Windows Media uh, sometimes messes it up so then you want to create the video file and just wait for this a little bit it's gonna be 30 frames per second so here it goes and Let's see. It's only 11 seconds, so it should be like, like 10 more seconds, maybe to wait. All right. So after you're gonna be done with all of this, it's gonna um, upload, and it's not gonna upload to YouTube yet. You're gonna have to. It it's gonna save automatically in your videos file. So what you wanna do from there? That that's pretty much how you make the video and all. But what you want to do from there is you want to, oh god, you want to go on YouTube. And while you're on YouTube, you want to go up to upload. All right, so you want to go to upload. Uh, you guys probably know how to upload this, but I'm just gonna show you anyway in case you don't. Uh, this really isn't supposed to be part of the video. I was just trying to show you how to make a video with the Roxy game capture itself. But, anyways, if this takes too long to load, I'm just not even going to show you because you probably know. But, so what you want to do is go to upload in YouTube. It's going to load. And then, what you sh oh my god, come on. Why is my computer so fucking slow? Uh, Alright, then you want to go to select from files for your computer come on alright it's gonna open this little tab and what you wanna do is you wanna scroll you wanna go to videos and you want to scroll down until until you see the video that you just made it's gonna be uh, basically named production production 25 right here uh, so what you would do is double click on that but I don't want to actually upload this so that's all guys that is how you make a video using the Roxio game capture um, so thanks for watching uh, please subscribe by the way I hope you like the content uh, inbox me or post in the comments down below if I should make another video showing you the advanced settings and best quality for the Roxio game capture so thanks for watching anyway and um, I hope you liked it. Please give me feedback. It only makes me get better. But anyways, look at this sexy desktop background. Jingles Rocker, signing out. Goodbye, everyone.